today we're gonna be doing a rodeo test on a 2003 Mercedes CL 600 with a V12 twin turbo engine it has an ABC system active body control system uh, that basically controls the vehicle level at every single wheel in real time with the reaction time of 10 milliseconds uh, that's pretty much instant so here we have a an option in our scanner in the active test menu go to active test in that module well we can go back to the beginning so active body control module choose that and then go to active test and uh, here we have rodeo test okay i'll let you read that so cycling uh, cy cyclically alternating actuation of all suspension struts in a circular motion it's rodeo so we're gonna do that and uh, that'll bleed the air out of the abc system because we have replaced a line uh, actually two lines uh, one exploded the other one ha the other one had a hernia on it so we had to replace both of them and uh, now we're bleeding the air out so let's go all right all right there we go so engine idling press f3 to start and there we go the car starts rodeoing i'm gonna go out so you can see oh there you go it just lifts itself up and down in a circular motion quite entertaining I guess I'll just rest the camera on the on the floor so that it's very visible yes Oops, I think I pressed something. Okay, well, let's go back to that test. So basically what this test does is just bleeds the, all the air out of the lines and struts that are filled with oil. I gotta do a few of those in order to bleed it all out.
we're continuing with the rodeo. We have about 57 times, 57 cycles left. Uh, the total was 420 cycles. That's uh, a lot of cycles. I wonder how hot this system is at this point. But just judging by the noise coming from the pump, I think I think there is no more noise. So that means a lot of this air must be out already. Let's just see. Let's just open the hood and uh, look closely, listen closely. Yeah, very minimal. Almost seems like it's okay. Oh yeah, the dipstick. We got the dipstick for the oil. Let's check it out. And yeah, the the oil looks hot and uh, air-free. So once the cycle is complete, we shall go for a test drive. We're gonna do another nice test drive tonight. Hopefully that'll be it for that car for now. I like how the steering turns itself when it leans. Yeah, it's a very cool system. It stabilizes the car when it uh, goes into a turn. The, basically, the car just stays stationary, like level, without leaning in any direction. No matter what G-force is, the system, system is gonna compensate for it. Just by applying more pressure to the wheel that needs it just making it stable now the only thing you have to have good is a grip on the tires because if you don't have any grip you're just gonna slide out and traction control is probably not gonna help you much you're at 37 cycles left I guess I'll come back to this when it's close to zero. So there's three rodeo cycles left, or actually two now. So there you go, the last cycles of rodeo, and then we let it cool down a little bit. And then we go for a test drive, see if there's any air audible. It'll be audible when accelerating, decelerating, possibly. All right, it finished the cycles. All right, vehicle went back up. 186 bar is the pressure in the system. That's insane. But these systems do go up to 3000 PSI which is even more, which is probably around 200 or more bar. Yeah, pretty interesting vehicle. 